So guys, look, with Christmas right around the corner, I wanted to get this, uh, get this video out there. Those who do follow the channel know the last pizza oven that I uh, took a look at and reviewed is about the only pizza oven that I kept and still have in my garage and still do use it today. And look, I'll drop a, a link up there so you could check that video out. This here pizza oven is by the same company, but look, man, this one here works differently than any other pizza oven that I looked at, so I am definitely intrigued by that. Look, I am gonna make this video as quick as possible. We will unbox this sucker. We will take a look at the parts. We will put it together, and at the end, I will fire it up and cook on it. Keep in mind, everything will be broken down in the uh, chapters. We will go step by step in uh, getting this thing put together. And I got to say, it is pretty fast. Also, the uh, cook is pretty cool. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for all that. Yeah. So guys, right off the bat, I got to point out that this one does have a grate on it, which makes it different than all the rest. And obviously it does have that pizza stone. They give you a cover and they also give you a peel. So that is nice touch there. Now look, the, uh, the uh, directions don't look that difficult. Let's get this sucker put together. And like I said, we will fire it up and we will cook on it. All right, guys, look, right off the bat, first step is gonna be the uh, chimney cap. And right off the bat, I gotta say we need C12, one and two. The only problem is C12, one and two are in this bag with the arrest of, none of them are numbered. I gotta be fair. I do think they can do a better job with that. Put them in a blister pack, at least to separate them somehow. So we don't have to go searching for the right screw. Alrighty, look, let's do a, a quick update. I might have jumped the gun on that. We will see the uh, screw is gonna be attached to the uh, chimney as you see there spring is noted right there and also there's only uh, two or three nuts in there so they are going to fit on that so like i said i may have jumped the gun we will see guys grab the firewood door and one of the two handles because that there is the next step once you get the uh, fire door all assembled we will turn our attention over to the chimney Look, once that chimney is installed, the next step is gonna be the two handles to the side of the unit. Guys, from there, locate that other handle and that is gonna screw into the main door. So guys, look, the next step after you get that main door on, just turn your attention down below that because the firewood door is next. Alrighty guys, look, so that is it for the assemble of this thing. As you can see on the screen, we will put the grate in, we will put the stone in, I will build the peel, that is just a, a couple screws, we'll do that off camera. I will take this oven here, I will move it onto the deck where I can get a little bit of sun, as it is brutal out here. Other than that, I am going to hold to my earlier opinion. It would have been nice if they put this in a, a blister pack or at least numbered the screws. I mean, I'm guessing I got all the screws in the right places, but in reality, I mean, I'm not 100% sure. That said, everything is working as it should. So like I said, man, let's get it over to the deck. Let's build ourselves a small pizza pie and let's fire this bad boy up. 
So look, that was pretty easy on getting this thing put together. And I gotta say, I gotta give props to the company because this is the second one of these types of ovens that I have looked at. And all of them so far are very easy to move around. They are very easy to store. Some of these pizza ovens that I've seen in the past are just too damn heavy. All right, guys, look. So the thing that's got me real excited about this oven and what makes it different than all the other oven is that it is gonna cook with splits. That is right, splits this is what is called a two-layer oven let me take you inside and let me show you exactly what I mean so look on the bottom there that is where the uh, wood that is where the splits are gonna sit and also the uh, top portion of the pizza oven is gonna come with a uh, pizza stone and a grate now look if you're cooking uh, if you're gonna cook a steak right there you can have that grate on the bottom if you are gonna go for a pizza you just move that pizza stone on the bottom you can put that grate up top you can keep things warm up there I mean really your choices are endless on what you can do with this uh, with this little pizza oven So guys, that is basically it. That is basically all there is to this. Let me get in the house. Let me make up a little bit of a pizza up. I will show you some B-roll footage of that. I can't do it outside. It is just too cold. And then we will come back out here on the deck and we will put some splits in here and fire it up and make us a pizza. As noted there on the screen, I got a full ingredient list on this uh, on this pizza dough down in the description. It's pretty foolproof. It is pretty uh, pretty easy to make and pretty uh, tasteful at that. I am gonna go with a little pizza sauce and fresh grated mozzarella. Gotta have some fresh basil on my pizza, and how about a little fresh ham? Yeah. So look, this is my first time lighting this sucker. I got these little uh, this little pieces of splits that I cut up over there. Man, they are about probably three, four inches in length. I will just kind of build a little wall there and then stack them on top. Leave a little air underneath. I will put a little fire starter under there also and hit it with my flame. So look, one of my big knocks with these pizza ovens, especially the uh, pellet pizza ovens or, or some of them that I've looked at, man, they are just a pit of light, man. I mean, this thing lit really, really, uh, really fast, really easy, and we are looking good on that pizza stone. So I would say right off the bat that we got a, uh, we got a pretty good start going, yeah. All right, guys, so look, let's take a look at where we're at. The uh, stone was about 530 Fahrenheit. That is going to be good enough. I am not sure what the inside of the oven is. I am guessing this is not going to be your one minute, two minute pizza pies, and that is okay with me because usually those pies burn anyway. So far, we are in this oven about a minute. Let's go in live now. Let's check it out and let's see where we are. Guys, just to be clear, by the time I stopped uh, stopped filming that little segment, uh, set myself up and went in to check the uh, pizza, we are probably about close to two minutes or a minute and 45 seconds. And as you could see, that bottom is uh, toasty on one side. Now, I am only going to do this little quarter turn once, man. I don't believe you have to do it more than that, which is also a welcome change for the constant turning of the pizza. Oh, yeah. So guys, look, a little update here, a little observation here. Because of some of the other pizza ovens that cook from behind and go over the pie, sometimes you gotta spin it, or matter of fact, all the times you gotta spin it. Because the fire on this is coming from underneath, I do not think that is the case. I think she's gonna cook pretty even all the way around. So far, so good. So looking back on this uh, on this pie right here, I could tell you the uh, pizza had a uh, wood flavor. There is no doubt about it, especially the second one that I made. And also there was zero panic in making either one of the two pies that I made. I wasn't afraid about burning anything. And I'll tell you, that ain't a bad looking pie right there. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, look, man, I got to tell you, at first when I was uh, 
when I was assembling this bad boy and saw all the screws in the uh, just thrown in the uh, packet like that I wasn't too impressed with that but I have to tell you man I am impressed with this little pizza oven now look is it is it is it the best made pizza oven in the world no it is not but I'll tell you man the way it works it is simple to use man the options are endless because you could pull out that stone and cook veggies you could probably cook a steak chicken and so forth so uh you know real wood pizza oven has now arrived and the price point on this sucker is definitely good let me go in let's get that quick taste test i gotta close out the show because i got another pizza to make So guys, look right off the bat, I could tell you, man, the bottom is nice and crispy. I like that. The uh, the cheese, the sauce, I mean, it, it was all there. I did a nice round pizza pie this time. I'm getting better at that. Other than that, man, that is all I could say about this. You're going to look at this thing for some future shows. There is no doubt about it. And I definitely recommend this pizza oven. If this is what you're looking for, man, it's got the uh, cover. It's easy to carry on. It's easy to store. And what you can do with it with real wood is endless. So, man, that is it. I appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, it is a pizza oven, and we will see you soon.